How's everybody doing? Uh, it's been a while since I've done my last video. It has probably been a year, so I'm gonna be a little more deliberate about uploading videos. So I'm gonna get right into it. Uh, this is the Waymark Mile backpack. And uh, I've had the chance to put, I'm gonna say about 30 miles on it. And uh, so far so good. I was a little hesitant because it doesn't have a waist strap. Um, you can buy an aftermarket belt for it, but as small as the pack is, even though I'm not a tall person, I think it would ride a little high. So I had some trepidation about not having a strap, waist strap, but this thing had about 22 to 24 pounds, carries very comfortably, uh, nice, shoulder straps, nothing rubs, there's nothing digging in, no weird, quirky little things on the pack at all. Very slim line, not a lot of stuff dangling around on the outside of the pack. And so I'm gonna finish my hike today and then we'll go to the review of this on the table, coming right up. another five mile hike today and uh so far so good with the waymark out of the tabletop all right let's start out by putting the backpack on this is one of my pet peeves with guys that that do gear reviews and they never put the stuff on like i was looking for a tilly hat and i swear i watched 20 videos and no one actually put the hat on so i'm gonna actually put the backpack on it has a sternum strap Yes, there's a whistle integrated with the, with the sternum strap. So there's the pack on. I am 5'7", 198 pounds. All right, let's go back to the table. All right, so let's get some of the specs out of the way. I'm looking to the left because I'm referring to my iPad so I get all the specs correct. Uh, this is a 28 liter backpack. The main bucket is 22 liters and then the rest of that is made up with the mesh pouch on the front and the two side pockets. Uh, the material is called EcoPack. Uh, it's a trademark name. So uh, it's kind of like a, uh, I'm not being specific here, but to me, it feels like a really well-made, almost like a nylon and Dyneema mix. So I, I don't know what EcoPack is, uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm digging it. It's, it's very durable. I don't see this thing wearing out anytime soon. Uh, it does have a foam core backing to it. It's very, very thin. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot for your back. It's not like helping vent the, the back of it, but what it does do is it keeps this thing kind of rigid. So when you're packing it, uh, it's not flopping over. Um, the top has an ad adjustable strap. It's a single strap. It's not a Y strap. And there's a good amount of room there. It's not a real long strap. However, it will fit the chair one or pretty much any of those smaller uh, hiking chairs with a uh, gossamer pad uh, wrapped around it. So uh, there's a good bit of storage there. I don't know that you would get a bear can on this, uh, nor would I want to put a bear can on a pack this size. Uh, the dimensions, now the dimensions of this are very important because this is a very versatile pack. The dimensions of this are 11 inches wide, five inches deep. And if you roll this all the way out to the top, it's 25 and a half. However, I don't see myself packing it out that tall. Uh, with it rolled down, now it's a carry-on. I can put it right underneath the airplane seat on most of the uh, airlines. They recommend that this not go any higher than 12 to 14 pounds. I will tell you, I took this out with 22 pounds in it. I would say that's about the max. And that was with 
food and water and my spring early summer loadout which i'll share with you here next few videos uh, i'll go through that with you uh, as far as the details of this this pack there are some things on here that you can tell someone who's hiked many miles has designed the first one is if you're using this as a travel backpack so if you're going to you're going to fly somewhere and you're going to go stay in a yurt or go camping or what have you and you need a backpack that you also want to carry on the airplane this is great it, and, and there's a feature on here that I really, really like, and that is it has a zipper uh, pouch and it's waterproof. So, and it's pretty deep. I mean, it's it's the basically the width of the pack and about from knuckle down uh, depth. And there's two uh, little elastic mesh separators. So I have my first aid kit in there. I'll put my wallet in there, passport, Anything that you want to keep dry and keep separated from the rest of the pack and risk losing it. Uh, the other thing that I that I like about this is that it's a waterproof zipper and it also has a, a zipper garage. So that little triangle piece of fabric right there, that's where most waterproof zippers fail is right where it ends. And there's that little pinhole that's where you get the water into it. So... I like that the mesh pocket's massive. It's not uh, like a knit, like a knitted or, or netted type. It's actually a, a solid material, very stretchy. And I actually have all my gear pouches in the front of this. So that allows me to put tent, sleeping bag, everything else in the main bucket. On the sides, you have two pouches. They're the same size and it does fit two of the Smart Water bottles and they, it has a cons compression strap. The cool thing about this com compression strap, again, another detail, is that it is at the height where you can now put the water bottle in there and you can strap it in place so it doesn't fall out of the pack. And that is on both sides. It has a two loops here for your trekking poles or your ice ax. Uh, I have no intention of ever putting an ice pack pick on this or ice axe so uh, so that's the side the front of the pouch the zipper pouch has a great carry handle here again that's easy pulling it out from underneath the airplane seat uh, or grabbing it out of your vehicle the pads are nicely padded but not over padded for me personally i don't like big fat padded backpack straps those hurt for me personally i don't like them my favorite style of strap is a fast pack or a runner's where it's flat and it's wide. I just feel like with the more real estate you have there, the more comfortable it is. That's just my personal opinion and that's my personal experience. But these straps do not bother me at all. No hot spots. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you don't even feel the straps. That's a lie. I, I'm telling you, anything you put on your body, you're going to feel it. The difference is what is the degree of discomfort? I have no discomfort with this up to 22 pounds. I will tell you that that 12 to 14 range is golden and you're not going to be uncomfortable at all with these straps. Again, it does have the sternum strap. I added Waymark's pouches to this. Uh, I really like these pouches. There's no bungee on it uh, to snap you in the eye with and you're not messing around with the, the, the cord lock. These are just really well-made elastic pouches and the water bottles fit in there very nicely. Uh, I have the smaller iPhone 13 mini, I think, but you could get a full-size phone in there as well. Um, so no, no issues there. Now there's a little detail on this strap that, again, this goes back to the details. If you look underneath the strap, I feel like I'm wrestling with this. See that pad? It covers the buckle for the strap. That is very important to me because I am very wide. I have packs where there isn't that little piece of padding and that buckle digs into my rib cage. And I've had some at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just red, raw. 
I don't feel that buckle because they put that, that pad on there. Uh, where do you buy it? Well, you can buy it at garagegrowngear.com. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I've not ever been sponsored on my channel and I don't intend to. Bought this with my own money and uh, you cannot buy it on the Waymark website. You have to go to garagegrowngear.com, 150 bucks. Uh, if you spend a certain amount of money, the, the shipping is free. But uh, do I recommend this? Yes. What do, I re what do I recommend it for? Day hikes, absolutely 100%. Travel uh, on an airplane, absolutely 100% carry on, not a problem. Throw it underneath the seat, forget about it. Uh, ultralight, yeah. I, I, so again, I put two liters of water, food, and my spring, early summer loadout in this got me to about 22 pounds. And yeah, I, it's, it's very doable. So uh, hopefully that helps you out. I have a little teaser for my next video. There's a, a brand new backpack I've not seen anyone review yet. Nobody. Uh, other than the company. And I have one of the first runs, I will assume, because I haven't seen it anywhere else. I'm going to give you a little teaser. And I'll give you a hint. They also make really good trekking poles. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper, camping out.